do not go into the law for your parents getting that degree when you see people graduating and going mad it's because they know what they put in hi lovelies karibu sana to my youtube channel my name is Lainey Spina. thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here if you're a returning viewer asante sana for the support i really do appreciate you guys now in today's video as you can see nimevanyo sinyo siya panapale so we're definitely talking about law school and specifically what they don't tell you about law schools in kenya so let's get into it <music> juicy stuff about law school we have to acknowledge that this week we got two amazing albums from Banner Boy and Saudi Soul. Banner Boy gave us twice as tall and wow that album is something. I know a lot of people on my Instagram said that the album is still growing on them but for me I absolutely love Bank On It and also Time Flies which is a collaboration they've done with Saudi Soul and wherever Saudi Soul go we follow because they are a symbol of national heritage here in Kenya. The second album is by Saochi Soul, which is Midnight Train. And from the word go, I loved Midnight Train, The Jam, I loved Susanna. The rest of the album is still growing on me. The intro was absolutely fantastic, saying that just to do what you're gonna do, because in the end, whether you do it or you don't, people are gonna judge you. So do what makes you happy. Your life is your own. Now that we've appreciated that amazing collection of African artists who are putting out amazing music, let's get into today's video. So, number one. Law schools are extremely competitive to get into in Kenya. You need amazing grades to get there. If you want to be placed by the, by the Joint Admissions Board or what is known as COOPS now, you need to aim for an A, have amazing cluster points to be put into a great university. So from the word go, if you're thinking about going to law school, put your best foot forward when you're going through your education. Again, in my previous video, I mentioned that I did not get that A, so I had to go with a sort of plan B, which involves going into module two. Now module two or parallel, as I explained in that video, means that you end up paying a bit more because you're not placed by the, by the board into school and you go through like your own private sponsorship. So that's way more expensive, but if you can work hard and get that A, it's definitely easier on your parents because they'll save some coins. Now the thing about people passing KCSE in Kenya is you never hear the end of it. And I completely understand why, because we have a system that has really focused on grades and the minute you get those good grades, then it's like you're set up for life. Which brings me to my second point. The grades will only get you to the door. After that, it is now your pure hard work. And the thing that you'll realize about law school is that it's not just hard work in school. It's not like spending hours in the library. It's also how you network, how you put yourself out there. So it really is a wholesome process. Law school in Kenya is a very wholesome process if you're going to make it in the end. Back to hard work. Law school is not easy. The rumors are true. It is very consuming. The law profession, getting that degree, when you see people graduating and going mad, it's because they know what they put in. And I can't speak about other degrees, but I'm sure other degrees also ha take a toll on you. But the law is just a jealous muse. It consumes you completely. So you need to know how to make it work for you. The reason why I'm saying it's not easy is because it's interconnected. For me, I did 56 units in my undergraduate. Other units, they usually condense them or expand them even more. So your experience will really depend on which school you're in. And in those particular units, they're all interconnected. So by the time you're doing social foundations or law in first year, if you don't pay attention, you will meet somebody called jurisprudence in third year and that unit is not a joke it's not the easiest to pass when you're learning about administrative law it's also because it's connected to constitutional law when you're learning about crimes it's because it's also because it's connected to criminal procedure so do not join first year and think it's going to be a walk in the park you join first year and you put your best foot forward the law is not a profession where you say oh i'm going to relax my first year then i'm gonna catch up as we go no by the time you're getting in understand what you've gotten yourself into it is a profession or a career that really requires you to put yourself into it to spend the correct amount of hours in the library reading through those gigantic books getting your points understanding the case law because 
case law is the heart of law school understanding the thinking of judges understanding how policies came into be there's just no shortcuts if i'm being honest with you guys aside from the hard work there is a lot of opportunities in the law now as i've said you need to spend your time in the library but these opportunities will not come to you in the library you go to them a common mistake a lot of people make when they're in law school is they start hunting for a job or an internship after they're done with law school but the opportunities are there with you when you're in school that just means that you should get yourself into moot court, you should get yourself into debating, you should get yourself into Kenya and UN. And those are examples I'm giving because I have experienced them. For me, from the day I stepped into law school, June Omune came and asked me, do you want to join moot court? And for that whole year before she finished, she made sure I was going for moot court meetings and participating even if I didn't know how to draft submissions. And because of that, it gave me the initiative to also try and introduce Kenya Model UN into my university and give people more opportunity to debate into simulations that model organs of the United Nations. And it's also because I had a bit of background in, in East Africa Model UN while at high school and also debate. Debate is really essential because as a lawyer, you want to be able to articulate on issues in front of a court. Again, also, when you're getting into law school, you might be thinking it's Boston Legal or Suits. That is um, the litigation aspect of it. But in all honesty, it's just Yojama Kamani. That's how real proceedings look like. But you shouldn't get discouraged because there's so many opportunities on what you can do with your law degree. You could go into policy. You could go into consulting. You could go into new areas like oil and gas. I mean, the opportunities are limitless. So when you get into law school, be ready to have your mind opened up because the areas that you can use this particular degree are extremely extremely multiple the fourth thing is networking is key in this profession it may look like we churn out a lot of lawyers in this country and they go into the market and as a result it is flooded which is one way to look at it but the second way to look at it is as you're exploring these opportunities when you're still in school you need to start networking when you go to a forum and the lawyers who are speaking there or a former chief justice is speaking there the thing you need to do is to just ask a question to help you stand out so that even when you're approaching that speaker at the end of the session you'll just be saying hi i liked how you you articulated on this particular issue if you have an opening for an internship i'd be happy to be at to work at your law firm that alone opens so many doors for you you get business cards from lawyers when you compete in moot court in moot court competitions you're able to get awards such as either traveling or working at specific law firms or you get opportunities to work for various organizations in this country just by virtue of participating in that moot court other moot courts even give you the opportunity to get a scholarship for your masters so you need to put yourself in these spaces when you go to these spaces network 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 talk to these lawyers talk to these advocates ask them questions about how they got to discover their passion go to these forums and let me repeat go to these forums as someone who was in the student leadership and tried to organize these forums not enough students go for them and guys that's where the opportunities are you're wondering which law firm you'll work at you're wondering which agency you'll be placed with that is the time to start looking don't wait to leave and get out of law school and start struggling go to these forums attend them ask questions put yourself out there and network last but definitely not least is lawyers know how to throw a good party i know you've heard the saying that work hard play even harder and as I've said, <laughs> the law is not an easy thing. It's not an easy profession to get into. And in case I have not said this enough times, please do not go into the law for your parents, do not go into the law for your grandparents, do not do it for anyone else because it will max you out. It will get to a point where you'll be asking yourself why you got into this profession in the first place. So make sure you're doing it because you're absolutely passionate don't do it because it's one of those top careers and you want to be in the top careers sit down gtm kutano ask yourself is this something that you want to do so that when you're going through the struggles you'll still have that 
voice inside you that tells you that this is absolutely something that you love and something that you enjoy now as i've said lawyers know how to throw a good party and after a long day or a long semester they'll organize a small party and you'll go and just debrief and the reason why it is essential to debrief is because when you are in law school it becomes massive massive workload massive stress massive papers to write cuts to pass assignments to submit you also need to find a community of people who you'll be able to debrief with whether it means organizing a barbecue whether it means to pale langata road pale Ngong road it is essential because you don't need to get yourself stressed out don't get into depression because of this profession no also remember to relax to catch your breath every once in a while and the best way to do it is to interact with other lawyers in these forums don't put your mental health on the line take a step back breathe organize a small trip to costo do whatever it is you need to do to stay sane to stay afloat and in the end you will make it through this career and that is it those are my five things i don't tell you about law schools in kenya if you have any other tips please comment down below and we can get interactive on this platform and i will see you in the next video don't forget to be kind and have a very beautiful week